you touched on this, it also is a big bonus for the colour grading, the post-production process for you. You've just done the grade, in fact, yeah. for your most recent film. Yeah. How has that changed in terms of the old-fashioned way of doing it, where you just had three colours to adjust? <laughs> yeah, well, look, I'm, I'm sitting there with this wonderful uh, Trish, the young lady, timing it the other day, and uh, you know, she's got all the knobs and all the rest of it. And, and um, yeah, the, the great uh, colour graders of the timers of the old times had three knobs. Mm. You could just change the density of the three basic colours. Big now, of blue. course, now of course, just on simple things we're doing. Uh, <clears throat> you'd say, "Oh, look, you've had to cut back to this shot, and they're exactly the same size. It really doesn't look that good." Uh, and uh, you say, "Well, look, track in, track in about fifteen percent." So you just go straight in, yeah. and, and we're shooting on shooting on four K, going out two K. It doesn't matter at all. Yeah. No, nobody ever knows. And of course, you're you're changing. Areas you're ch putting clouds in the Power sky. Power windows, all this sort of thing. Oh, yeah. I mean, it's just endless, endless tricks. I mean, the proof is, of course, in the old days, uh, it took us three days to get a print. Um, I'd view the film with a timer. He'd go home into the lab, do a print that night. I'd see it the next day. We'd make comments. He'd go away, do it, and we do it again the next time. And that, that was it. She went out <laughs> after the, the three days. Right. Now we did this three weeks. Uh, Ender's Game, I did nine weeks. And you're seeing it constantly. Yeah. You don't have to wait for it to come back. Oh no, but it still no. takes three weeks. No, 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 no. It's just. I mean, it, yeah, it's a it's a whole new tool we've got. So and I, I I use it when I'm shooting. Yeah. You know? I was about to ask. Does this affect the way you shoot oh, now? Yeah, oh, yes. Conscious I mean, of how, what can happen in the post. Oh yes. I mean, so you'll you'll have an area like it it could be. I mean, it 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 could be a vehicle out in the background, and you say, look, it's that far in the background. We'll fix that in DI. It's just just that's gone, mm -hmm. right? In other words, uh, well, other somebody's got to drive half a mile over there, talk to the guy, have a discussion. Everyone's got to clear. I mean... Get him to move. Oh, yeah. We can erase that in post. And, uh, Fix uh, it in post. And, uh, you know, uh, uh, lots of little things. I mean, and, uh, <coughs> had, had a scene the other day. Um, uh, there was All the rest of the scene was shot in sun. We had to shoot this in a cloudy thing. And there was a big shed alongside the person. I said, OK, put a big streak of sun. So they just put brightened up this whole area because it looks looks like the sun shining on the shed in the background and yeah. and the continuity of the whole thing is just just there i mean it's so it's it's yeah it is it is another tool it, it's it, people say well you're being lazy or you're doing this you know, all i'm worried about is the audience i mean that's they're the they're the people ultimately that i'm working for and uh, of course, I'm always working for the next job. That's <laughs> Do we know what the next job is? Can you talk no, about that? No, we don't. That? No, I, I've, I've uh, had a, this whole period has been messed around with a, uh, a massive project in New York, which uh, still might come off. I've, I've gone gone there twice. Which is the um, Broadway 4D. Broadway 4D. The, yes. Um, uh, tell us uh, about that. <clears throat> well, it's. Um, Something unique. Uh, these people have uh, were to acquire a uh, a Broadway theatre, one of the old traditional theatres, which is not in use. Going to renovate it and put this show on, which was uh, fifteen Broadway hits sung by the b best singers in the world today, uh, being shot three D, uh, but being shot four K three D. Um, being shot at 30 frames, which is another mm -hmm. plus to the, the clarity, and um, and the the 4D was supposed to, is the interaction. There'd be lights interacting with the in the theatre and wind and sound and. Oh, so it's a live that. show, but it's filmed. No, no, it's a film show. The, it's it, it, it still is. It's still project. The screen was going to be like a Presidium arch. Yeah. But it would still be a, a 3D film projected on it, right? Right. But. If there was light on the stage and the footlights came on, light would come back on the audience and all so that. So there is some of live light. But but, but, right. but there were more, that yeah. was a whole area that I, I I don't know too much about. Yeah. And they didn't talk a lot about it. 
either they didn't know or they didn't want me to know, or they didn't want the public to know what, what they were up is to. Is this the first film you've done in 3D? Uh, yes, it would have been. It would have been. What and we shot, like? we, shot, we shot some of it. This is with Red Epics, was it? That was, that was two Red Epics, yeah. Yeah, so what was that like, doing 3D? Once, once again, it, it goes back to that camera assistant. There was a bloody great team of people there. <laughs> I just look at the thing and say, that's the shot I want. And they, they look after the whole bloody thing. I mean, I, I, I don't, I mean, I've, I've got to understand how it works. I'm, you know, I'm, what the I'm, limitations are of the technology. Yeah, and, but, but there's, there's all these people there working out the diverges, the dun, the dun, the dun, the dun, oh, yeah, yeah, with their computers and everything. And the, uh, you know, the, there was about 10 people uh, from the 3D company uh, really managing that whole area, mm. you know. Um, Massive production. They, the, we were shooting the Armoury in New York, and the uh, the last time it got canned, they were rehearsing on a stage in which there were two million dollars worth of light rental in the roof. You couldn't believe what was up there. I mean, you look up. Uh, there was there was a stage lighting director, a mm. woman. She knew how to spend money like that. <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 would, I wouldn't be game enough. But, uh, Do you feel the sense of responsibility on these big productions with so much money involved? No. No, no. The, the I mean, I mean No, I mean, the, 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 the point is I'm, I'm just, uh, I think I've, I've got that nature that says, you know, I'm doing the best I can. Um, this money has been invested to make money. Um, I'm going to get a little bit of it. A lot of people are going to get a little bit of it, uh, and uh, yeah, that's that's what makes the world go around. You, it's been a very long career. How much longer do you think you've got? How much longer do you intend to keep going? Um, well, as long as the marbles are rattling, uh, I love the job so much. I'm going to keep doing it. Um, yeah, that's, that's it. As long, as long as they offer me work, I'll do it. Don McAlpine, thank you so much for spending the evening with us and Good. talking about your life and career and working in the film business. Good. Thank, thank you, you, John. It's been a pleasure.